The war in Ukraine has not only destroyed parts of that country, it has forced millions of people to leave their homes, creating one of Europe's largest and fastest growing humanitarian crises since, crises since World War II. Millions of people poured across the border into neighboring countries in hopes of finding some safety and refuge. The U.S. has also welcomed refugees through some different programs with more than 270,000 Ukrainians admitted into the country since the war began more than a year ago. Hundreds of thousands of Americans have stepped up to sponsor those in need of support, including the Langland family of Florida. And what an incredible moment this is. This is the first uh, time the Ukrainian family uh, arrived in the U.S. and became uh, part of this sponsorship, welcoming two sisters and their children to St. Augustine, Florida. Elizabeth Langland is with us this morning. Elizabeth, seeing that video just makes me smile. Uh, I am inspired by what you're doing. Tell me, uh, as you call yourself a welcomer, what motivated you to get involved in this sponsorship program and to help uh, welcome these families to the U.S.? Well, as I watched the devastation that was occurring in Ukraine, uh, I was really moved and inspired, and I was really looking for a way to get involved in trying to figure out what I could do. I discovered Welcome.us as a wonderful site that talked to me about the potential of sponsorship. It indicated what I needed to do to become a sponsor. And uh, that led to this wonderful connection now with this uh, family from Ukraine, two sisters, each of whom has a child. Okay, and tell me about the sisters, tell me about their kids and what they left behind. Yes, uh, the two sisters are Ina Novak and Ludmilla Ryback, and their children respectively for Ina are uh, Margo and for Ludmilla Max. They uh, left behind husbands, uh, both of whom at the time they came here, their husbands were part of the, uh, of course, territorial defense. And uh, Ludmilla also left behind her older son, Denise, who was 21. This was a very hard thing to do, but her husband said to her, you need to go so at least one of our sons survives. Wow. And how are their husbands and her son doing? How much communication do they have with them? They have regular communication with them. Thanks for all these wonderful communication networks. They are in daily contact with them and even showed me a video the other day after a bombing, you know, one of those daily bombings in Kiev where they live. Uh, both Sergei, the husband, and Denise out playing ping pong out in the yard. So, um, you know, life does go on. But it's so hard because as I see them arrive at the airport and you all embrace, they come with nothing, right? They're starting over. You are creating for them safety and a home. What are the logistical challenges in doing something like that, helping them start fresh? The logistical challenges are huge, as you understand. Um, we had to find them an apartment. We had to enroll the children in school. We had to enroll the family for benefits and for employment assist, uh, employment um, affirmation. Both women, of course, are now employed uh, very happily and very successfully. And so they themselves have risen to this challenge in an enormous way. And it's taken hold. And I should say in advance that we were not alone. Every time we reached out to someone, they wanted to help if they could. You see that huge group I see flashing on the screen of people who've just leapt forward to lend their assistance to this wonderful family. And the hope is this is temporary, right, to give them this support and this love, but they would like to go back to Ukraine at some point. That's our understanding, absolutely, um, uh, that they will go back. But of course, as the war has dragged on, uh, they become more and more assimilated to the United States. They, they love it here. Uh, they found it 
such a wonderful respite from all of the trauma they had endured before. And in that included the children. Uh, it, it has been for the parents, they said, when they arrived, they forgot what the children looked like happy. Mm, wow. Well, you've got a big heart, Elizabeth. Thank you for what you're doing, opening our eyes to the possibility. If someone wants to become a sponsor, welcome you at welcome.us. Uh, thank you for your time. We'll check back in on you and these families. Appreciate your, your, uh, your time this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.